Okay, <clears throat> what's up YouTube? So I'm looking at this link that I got and it's to this page and I'll put the link up and it's a whole bunch of black men, either athletes or entertainers or whatever, um, you know, men you would see on TV <clears throat> and it's just a, it's pictures of them and their non-black girlfriends or wives or families and I'm like, what's new? You know, the majority of those men on there are men we already knew, so there is no eye openers like, okay. And some of the men that they have on there are questionable. Right? You know, those men are mixed, but they're still up there somehow. Uh, I don't get it. Um, you know, we have so many debates over whether or not mixed people are black or not, but, you know, whenever it's convenient for them to be black, it's, you know, it's like they're the variable, right? If you need extra support, oh, go get mixed people. Um, anyways. So I'm looking and I'm like, okay, what's one thing that all these men have in common? Overwhelmingly, the majority of these men are all refined, you know, well-spoken type of black men. They're not really the ones who are associated with the thug culture or, you know, they're always getting arrested, this, that, and the third. These, all men, these are the men who are, like, pretty much smart and articulate. Okay, the same group of men that, like I said before, have not necessarily been embraced. Okay, you know, it, it was non-black women who came on and said, yo, you know, we want masculine black men, but not just the scary type. You know, we want them to be smart and articulate. So we want them to be masculine, but we want to sit down and have some sort of intellectual conversation. Then there were, And then when those men became, you know, the thing, right, the Tay Diggs of the world, um, you know, then it was like, yeah, black women, this is what we want. This is what we've always wanted. No, you haven't. Um, <clears throat> but anyways, let's look at some of the women who are famous, usually they're actors and R&B singers, okay? Keisha Cole, she chose to be with Young Jeezy, I guess it ended badly, it is what it is. Let's look at Maya and Lauren London. Now, we all know what Maya likes, we all know, or we've heard, according to my little sister, from what she's told me, is that I guess Lauren London is pregnant with Lil Wayne's baby, yet. you know, it sounds funny, even coming out of my mouth, I'm like, what the hell? Um, and I'm like, hmm, are you telling me, and if you guys go to the, <clears throat> the link, right, go to that page, you're telling me that Maya and Lauren London, both light-skinned, right, you know, women, um, they can't get with the type of men on that page the type of black men on that page that it's so bad that they're going to pass up on Maya and you know Lauren London and that Beyonce is pretty much the only you know significant black woman that can go off and get a black man no you can't these women are still making poor choices um, look at Whitney Houston okay you know at the height of her career right how many productive black men, you know, producers or businessmen or whatever was like, man, you know, I want Whitney Houston. But she chose who? Okay, let me not finish. Um, <clears throat> Faith Evans, you know, love of music to death, love Biggie to death, but look at who she chose. Look at, you know, who she wanted to get involved with. What can you say? Um, who else? Oh, even Rihanna, okay, you know, Rihanna, you know, she's not, you know, even, you know, what, what is she, Jamaican or whatever she is, you know, it has the, the different sort of swag about her, right? So how many successful industry or, you know, uh, <clears throat> professional athlete, black men were like, man, you know, Rihanna, let me take you away, you know, let me show you something different, you know, let me take you off to Europe and buy you this and buy you that, no. She chose Super Sweet 16, Chris Brown. Look what happened to her. Vivica A. Fox, you know, one of the, you know, she's one of those, you know, high, the divas, right? One of the, you know, one of the gods of this whole idea of this black, independent, strong woman movement, right? You know, Vivica A. Fox is like, you know, one of the founders of this movement, right? <clears throat> At one point in time, who was she with? 50 Cent? So you're telling me Vivica A. Fox, you know, even at her prime, can go off and, you know, get some established, you know, uh, well-to-do, successful black man? Come on. Let's be real here. The, the fact remains, I've already said, you have to leave 
uh, black people who are famous, whether they're, you know, an actor or a singer or, you know, an athlete, leave them out of the equation. But the black women insist on bringing them in. And I'm like, okay, let's bring them in. Look at the choices that they've made. They're still making poor choices. Look at my, or Mia Campbell. I don't know if you guys remember, but she was, you know, she was pretty big. She had a promising career, especially in the, what, the late... 90s when In the House was out with LL Cool J, remember that show? It came out Mondays after Fresh Prince. She was big. She was in the Tyree Sweet Lady video and, you know, a couple other videos here and there. Beautiful, right? You know, how many men was like, man, we're trying to get at me and Campbell, right? Especially the fact that, you know, she was more so darker in skin color, but, you know, a lot of people still found her to be attractive. What happened? You know, we all saw the clip of her pretty much cracked out. Like, what can you say? What can you do? You know, like, people really think that we're just up here making shit up. But, I mean, a lot of the issues that we see with black women, it affects black women across the whole spectrum. And, you know, this is more so gossip. You know, I don't really care about this stuff. This is common knowledge. So if I know it, most of y'all already know it. I don't waste too much time dealing with this shit. I don't care what's in, you know, Ebony Magazine or Jet. I don't really care about that stuff. I don't care about black gossip. Right? You know, I don't need, you know, black tabloids here and there. This is just common shit that you, you just see living life. So, you know, I don't know what to say. You know, I've, I've suggested that we leave this out. But the women want to add it on as if they're making a point. And they only want to focus on what the men are doing. And I'm like, it goes back to what I said a while ago. It's funny how it's a bigger crime for a black man to go off with, you know, some sort of level-headed, decent woman of a different race. But it's not a big deal if black women date black men who, in any other ethnic or racial whatever you want to call it, any other group would be bottom of the barrel don't mess with these men they're a disgrace but somehow that's okay <clears throat> and you know we should deal with that but black men who you know choose to go off and get with you know presentable women of different races you know it is what it is barring iced tea with his wife Coco you know I don't get it why don't black women you know champion black men who are with black women who are who are relevant right you know for me um, Omar Epps is one of my favorite actors um, you know he doesn't get talked about in terms of you know the Wesley Snipes the Michael Jordans you know the other black men that pretty much said Yo, you know, you can be articulate and you can be a black dude. And he was one of those people that kind of broke down the door for black men. You know, I believe he's married to one of the girls from Total. You know, the the, the, the mid-early 90s R&B group. Uh, were they mid? They weren't early. You know, mid-late 90s, my bad. Um, for all those R&B cats out there. Um, I believe he's married to one of the girls from there. Right, and he's on TV right now, but how many black women watch House on Channel 11 to support Omar Epps? None. Probably most of y'all don't even know. So, you know, I mean, what can, you know, we say or do? You know, like this argument or this topic, to me, <clears throat> it's, it's one of those things where you know, it's like, I feel like black women should go talk to their quote-unquote white boyfriends and husbands and say, hey, how come your uncle or how come your father <clears throat> isn't supporting, you know, uh, uh, the black men with black wives? But, you know, uh, telling this to black men, you know, what can we do? We don't control the media. But, you know, the white men that you guys are in partnership with, you know, the white men that are going to save you and hold you down, go tell them to hook you up. Why aren't they opening the door for you guys? Why? You know, what can we do? You know, we can talk about issues pertaining to us common folk, us regular folk, right? But if you insist on using celebrities, well, shit, what can you say or do? You guys take it easy. God bless.